welcome back. I'm Tiffany Calvert with Ohio County Extension. And I'm A.T. Hudnall, Registered Nurse, Health Improvement Program Specialist at Purdue Farms. Okay, and so this is a recipe video. And so one of our goals in this program is to do more recipe videos where you can actually um, get some insight and some visuals on how to create healthy meals or snacks at home. Mm -hmm. And this recipe that I'm gonna do for you today could be part of a meal or it can just be a healthy snack. Yep. Honestly, this is my go-to snack. I always make sure that I have tomatoes, and avocados in my home um, be just because a lot of times it's just quick it's easy um, and as you are well aware that avocados have your healthy fats that's right the omega-3s and yes. that's what raises, raises your hdl which is that good cholesterol don't forget that yes and so do you know whether or not how to tell if an avocado is ripe or not no please tell me because we've okay. got so many that we can't um, eat <laughs> Yeah, because a lot of times in the grocery store, I'll I'll find people walking up and squeezing them. Okay, <laughs> that's what I've done. Um, and so that that can be not so accurate. Okay, <laughs> and so there's actually a button that I call it at the very top of an avocado, and if it hasn't been removed, what you're going to do is you're going to take your finger and you're going to flip it out, and then on the inside, if it is a really really bright green that one's not too bright if it's a really really bright green that means it's under ripe it's not ripe enough yet okay. um, if it's a very dark brown blackish color put it back it's over ripe it's already ruined okay okay this one seems to be just about right um, and so I'm going to go ahead and cut it open and then I'll show you the easiest way. Now inside this avocado is gonna be a very, very hard seed. And so when you take your knife down, you'll feel it once you get there, and you're just gonna go all the way around. And then you can pull it apart, like so. Mm -hmm. Flip that seed out. Do you eat avocados in your house? We do. I love avocados. We even have frozen ones that we put in our smoothies. Yeah. <laughs> and so I'm just slicing it. Be, be careful. The skin is tough enough for your knife not to really go through it, but still be really careful. And I'm just basically dicing the avocado up as it's in its skin, and then you just flip it out. A lot of fresh avocado. I do too. And you know, an avocado spread is a great replacement for um, mayo or a good replacement for salad dressing, you know, on a sandwich. Oh yeah. You could just smash up a bunch of avocado, you could put some garlic salt with it or whatever you like. Um, I've even been known to put some hot sauce in it, mm. mix it up really good, and you've got a really good fancy sandwich spread. <laughs> We like to put them on uh, our toast with eggs. Yes, yes. Avocado toast and eggs. Avocados are a really good breakfast food. Yeah. Yeah. And they're great for young kids and uh, because of that healthy fat that they need for That's brain right. development. I know I fed my both of my children a lot of avocados when they were little. Makes it's them smarter. Uh, it does. A lot of that DHA natural. Yes. And it's really important that any fruit or vegetables that you're dealing with um, in your home is washed really good. We had already washed the skin of this avocado first. And so for this avocado salad, uh, I'm simply just going to be, Angie, do you care to wash these for I me? Do that. I'm simply just going to be adding avocados and tomatoes. But now some other things that I've been known to add would be some green onions or purple onions. Uh, cucumbers is really good and then I've also just shredded up some spinach and put in that salad. And so it just really kind of depends on what you want to add with it. But the base of the salad is just simply avocados and tomatoes. And so you can use cherry tomatoes, you can use any kind of tomato. Fresh garden yeah. tomatoes. Any kind of tomato. But you have those like uh, at the farmer's market, yeah. whenever 
they're open for the season. Feel really good. Have a lot of local farmers here with a lot of good produce. Yes. And I'm doing this on a cutting board and you see all that juice that I'm leaving on the cutting board, I will dump that in there later. I'm not gonna waste that. And so the, what I'm gonna season the salad with today because it's just my preference is sea salt and red pepper flakes. But now whatever seasoning that you like, go for it, add it in there. Yeah, so I would just make sure that the salt that you're using is not that processed salt. Make yes. sure it's natural salt like the sea salt or the Himalayan yeah. um, salt. You don't want processed salt. So once again, this is a very colorful salad. Look at the reds and that the greens. That looks so good. It's very good. Have I made this for you before? No, and I'm looking forward to it. I can't <laughs> wait for you to try it. It's just quick and easy and simple. And like I said, I mean, you just really need two or three things and you've got a salad. But now if you have other things to add in there, like I said, with the onions, it's really good. Mm. Um, you can use a squeeze of lime. And... Yeah. Oh, yeah. The there cucumbers is really good. In it. Oh, I bet it is. I'm not too big of a cucumber fan, but mixed in with something else is really good. These tomatoes are fresh. You can smell them. Yep. Can you smell them? <laughs> <laughs> they always said they need to make smell vision. Yes, they do. I'm going to take that and get all this juice, that goodness, done yes. in there. There we go. And then however much salt or red pepper flakes is totally up to you. I always dump it in my hand first. So I can see how much I'm adding. Do you like spicy things? Yeah, just a little bit. I sort of, kind of. So crushed. you don't want like half of this bottle? No, 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 no. Oh, man. No, no. I like crushed red pepper though. Okay. Just a little bite. Yeah. A little kick to it. This is going to have a bite to it. Oh, that looks sure. good. And all that tomato juice is, is. getting around there. That looks so good. See how quick that was? That's very quick. I eat it's very eat, healthy. Yes, I eat this a lot of times for lunch. And these avocados are about, what, less than a dollar? Usually yeah. When they're... Yeah, it depends on if um, what uh, time of the year it is. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the box of tomatoes, they're not very much. No. I can't wait to grow um, mm. a lot of tomatoes in the garden this year. We use a lot of tomatoes. Canned tomatoes. So oh, I mean, man, that's so good. Yes, you like it? Yes. So very nutritious. Mm. Mm. Very simple. So um, let us know on these recipe videos if you do happen to make this at home, what you thought about it. And then two, if you can think of a fruit or a vegetable, um, that you want to incorporate into a recipe and you just really don't know how, um, comment on the Facebook page and let us know um, or send us a, a message somehow and then we'll work on that recipe for you. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of times um, people will bring me recipes and they're like, okay, I know this is not healthy for me. <laughs> how can I improve it? And so we can That's help you idea. with that. Yeah. We can definitely help you with that. So make sure to comment, let us know what you thought about this recipe, if there's any recipes you want us to do in the future, and then we will try to help you out with that. Uh, thanks for watching.